so remember when I said uh, all of us are always learning in beekeeping? Well, here's me learning um, and proof that I do make mistakes. So I, <laughs> I have no idea what, what's happening here. Um, this colony was stuffed with bees a little bit ago, was bearding like crazy because um, I put the apigard on. And I thought about pulling the IPM board out just a little bit to give it some more ventilation and didn't against my better judgment. And this is the result. I think I've killed them. And uh, I, I don't know, I, I would have thought, I thought maybe they, I could just tell by the entrance activity, I thought they absconded on me. And maybe they did still. Um, Cause there was way more bees in here than what you see. And it did get in the 90s, you know. Um, here's the apicard. I mean, they... Some greasy-looking bees. Did they... And these are robber bees here. This is what this is. This is why I could tell the entrance activity was off. It still smells a little bit like apicard. Maybe... I don't know. Definitely going to be... Uh, calling or emailing Kent and asking him what the heck I did wrong here. Um, trying to do this one-handed, so let's take a look at the comb. There's also ants that have been in here because they're robbing it out too. Nothing to defend the combs. <sighs> this looks like brood, if that's the case. Oh yeah. So that there is wax moss. Now you say, oh, wax moss killed him. No, wax moss is a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It happens when you have, a, they take over a weak colony. And see that's, you know, first sign you think, oh, they start. No, those are bees that were get that were emerging is what that is. So that is wax, wax moths that are enjoying. These are probably some new bees that have recently emerged. They look like it to me. Um, wax moths are, I think the word I was looking for is opportunists. So, um, stinks not to freeze these frames. They look for colonies that have been severely weakened or compromised and that's what they take over. So I think they, I think this colony absconded is what I think. I think they just left the brood. That is a darn shame. And that is 100% my fault. Oh, it's too bad. I think there's... I'm just gonna keep looking through here. Yeah, they, they just up and left. I think it was too much. Even though they had removed most of that apigard. All those bees were getting were getting ready to emerge. So I'm not I don't know. Conclusively I, I'm not sure what happened here. I presume it was the apigard, so that's what I'm assuming until I can talk to Kent. That's all bee bread. Hmm. Stinks. This colony, I mean, it stinks. You can smell. I mean, dare I say you can smell the death. I don't know. It just stinks. It has an off smell to it. Thanks. Well, 
Jeez. Yeah, and this was one healthy colony. At least it sure looked like it. All the food's gone because it's been getting robbed out for the past few days. So it's not that... Look, you still got bees emerging here. Uh, it's not that uh, they starved or anything. All these robber bees have been feasting on it. All right, so what are we going to do here? Well, uh, I'm going to have to clean this up. I'll shake out the rest of these bees. Again, they're probably not from this colony anyway. They're probably robber bees. They'll return home here in a little bit. But... Um, Man, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm to blame on that one. So I'll, uh, I'll take accountability for that. Um, I, again, I think it's absconding because I think the bees that are in here are not from this colony. I could be wrong, but maybe a few bees that were, that are still here. These bees could be from this colony. I sure don't see the queen, though. I was kind of scanning for one. I think they absconded with the queen, is what I think. I think they just got out of Dodge because of the April guard. It's too hot outside. And I, I did a half dose. I did a half dose. I didn't put it, as you saw, directly over the middle of the brood, but... Um, yeah. They were bearding like none other. As you can see, I should... Hopefully I had the video that I can show at the beginning of this one so you already saw it, but Yeah, I'll just shake all these bees out. That's what I'm gonna do. Clean up this brood frame. Ugh. Uh, that makes me sad. But it happens. Don't beat yourself too up over it. I mean all 24 of these other colonies are doing just fine and I did the same thing. So, I don't know. Maybe this colony really, really didn't like the Ape of Guard or, or it was too full of bees. Too full of bees. I didn't give them enough room, even with that slatted rack. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I give these frames to my chickens. I don't know. Um, but yeah, maybe I should have given, provided more ventilation. You know? So, okay, well. Might as well fix my mess. So I'll go ahead and uh, get this colony cleaned up. And, uh, yeah. That's that. Uh, not a... Uh, not a very happy video, but I think one that's educational nonetheless. Um, once I get confirmation from Kent what I did wrong, and I suspect I know what I did wrong, um, I'll share it with y'all in, in a future video. But um, yeah, I think it's important for us to not only share uh, our successes, which everybody does, but I think it's also important to share our, um, our failures because uh, that's how we learn and grow as a beekeeping community, in my opinion. And... Uh, you know, I am far from, from perfect, so <laughs> I will never claim to be, and I'm learning every single day, so this was, uh, this was a tough lesson learned here, so anyway, I'm not going to say I hope you enjoyed the video, but thank you for watching. Uh, you all have a beautiful day. God bless you and your bees, and I'll see you on the next one.